Okay, uh, back now. Apologies for that. We had a drop in transmission, and I believe we should we have it sorted out now. I'm hoping that you guys in the social networks and the forums can help spread the word and get our viewers back. If not, no big deal. But uh, like I said, this is a good match between Derek Kim and Ashton Schaefer, both very strong players. This is the first rack in a race to five from the winner's side. Derek Kim, I happen to know, is a very competent player. Unfortunately, uh, gets a little ahead of himself once in a while, as you can see there. He's lost the first game in this match, race to five. And he's playing Ashton Schaefer, young kid from Temeca or the Menifee area, uh, who is Matt Schaefer's son. And uh, I believe he's about 19 years old. He's a very strong player. He's got a lot of heart for the game. And he uh, should fare well in this match. So let's see for ourselves. Nice break, solid break. Shot on the one? No, he's not gonna get there. He's hooked, hookhead. One nine combo with an automatic safety here. She goes, that'll be one one. One goes down, shot on the two, although it's a long distance call. With uh, quite a lot of work to do to get on the three here. Let's see how he does. Force follow, I believe. And nice shot. Couldn't have hit that any better myself. <laughs> now he's stuck on the rail. He's jacking up. Jacking down. And the free ball rolls into a fairly safe position. My man Mike Meeker arrives back safely from his match with Jamal Wisi. 
How was your match with Jamal Wisi, Mike? I lost against Jamal, then I played a Filipino guy named Chad, and I beat him. Hill Hill, I won. Oh, good for you. I was up 3-1. Oh, Chad Bellamer? I think so. played Chad Bellamer, yeah. I was up 3-1. I let, let up on him a little bit, came back, and I ended up taking him. Wow, you get in the box with Chad Bellamer. You, you, must be, uh, you must be hitting him pretty good right now. Yeah, I'm feeling, feeling good. Feeling confident, yeah. 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 Well, that's oh, that's a that's a that's a key part of winning in this game is confidence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, my deodorant sure. So what's that? My deodorant I wear sure. Sure, so I'm he sure. Wears sure. Okay. <laughs> so this match you're watching right now, both pretty strong players. And then there's that. None of them look familiar. Why am I such a liar when it comes to commentary? <laughs> it's not really lying. It's just um, enhancing the excitement. Yeah, but then uh, then that happens. So Sa Santos is a pretty good salesman because... Uh, Oh really? Why? What? You're standing there trying oh, did to you buy a raffle ticket. I wasn't gonna. And was Sant my 17 of them? No, Santos goes. They only need two more to do the raffle. I go. All right, you talked me into it. I'll buy the last two. <laughs> oh. He's been saying that to everybody. Uh, and I fell for it. <laughs> Actually, I was just gonna uh, buy a raffle ticket. It's too late. No, it's not. <laughs> Get the heck out of here with that. You want to give the money to Jeff? And yeah, to Jeff, will you will you give the just say that's one for POV one ticket? One ticket. Yeah, thank you. I'm buying a raffle ticket for uh, for the uh, for the magic cube. What I like about it is the winner of this raffle gets to choose which one they want out of the two. Yes, that's kind of cool. Ooh. Ouch. Oh, Ash. You know what? I think Ashton's. Ashton's just not. You know, pulls are real. You gotta really be in a good mental space sometimes to to execute shots. You know, that you're used to making, but you'd be like, I never miss that in real life. Well, you know what? This is real. This life. is real life. <laughs> My favorite is I used to be so much better back in the day. <laughs> I hear that one a lot. Yeah. I tell people now I used to suck. <laughs> That was a nice shot. Beautiful. Derek's a strong player. He plays with the uh, New World Billiards outfit, formerly the, or, you know, the defunct USPPA. The, oh, the, <laughs> I would have to say the, the last remaining survivors of the USPPA in Southern California. He's got a beautiful stroke. And you're in the raffle. Thank you. I'm just stoked I didn't have to place. Just stoked I didn't have to play Santos first round. It's been like the usual. Okay, listen for my name. Just listening for my name. Looks like Derek goes up two to one. Yes, Derek is up two to one. I'm gonna make a quick uh, score change here. So this is two days in a row for you, uh, Mr. Meeker. I know, I don't know what to do with myself. People are gonna start thinking I'm a pool player. Yeah, man, you've been, you, you were here yesterday for the, did you play the one pocket? I did. You did, you did, you played the one pocket. I came in fourth, dude. You were shooting good. You were on fire. Wow, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, you were on fire. I'm so mad about losing to Frank the Barber. He made a couple six shots, though. Yeah, he's a good player. Like Karen Bank. Oh, I learned, I learned a lot from playing Guys like Frank, he, they have so much one pocket knowledge, it's its ridiculous, you know. I Frank realize and, that uh, Frank and Fudge kind of have the Oscar Ernesto thing, they won't play each other. 
Right, right. And, um, you know, there's just a lot. There's a lot to be learned from playing those guys. Foch, Foch is a bit of a, a gunslinger to me, you know? Right. He likes to do a lot of fancy stuff. But if he cools his heels a little sometimes, he can get you stuck, man. He's tough. Tough one pocket player. Yeah. I've known Fodge for a long time. Anyway, back to our story here. Derek's, uh, I don't know, is he looking for cutting up that three ball all the way up to the corner? Where is he looking at the nine ball? I can't tell from this angle. Whoa! Came dangerously close to scratching. I was way off on uh, what I was thinking he was going to do. Well, he was trying to play the billiard. It's not a I think. I, th I think that's what he was doing. It's not a great leave. It's makeable. Wow. Oh. Yeah, I, I might have played a safety there. But, you know? That's actually the shot I uh, had similar to the, my last match that I made. <laughs> <laughs> similar to what? I'm sorry? Oh, my last match that I made to, for the win. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is fairly straightforward. Derek shouldn't be in any trouble here. Is this the winner side stool? This is a winner side match, yeah. Okay. Did you say Derek's up 2-1? Two, two yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I made a mistake here. Okay, now what? Uh, I think he's going to make the 8 and then the 9. You know, it's kind of odd. He's... He's relatively comfortable for, for a, a, a guy who never plays on diamond tables. And I tell you, I, when I come to a diamond table, I rattle those balls all the time, man. Oh, I do too. Except for the bar box ones. For whatever reason. Oh, well, they're smaller, you know, that's a part of it. Yeah, Derek's got a really pretty stroke. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's, uh... He's a good player. I've, I've gone head-to-head -head with him many times, actually, over the years. I've known him for about eight or nine years now. Oh, nice. Mm. Breaks dry, leaves a pretty open table. So I came in late, I guess Butch uh, beat up on Chris pretty bad. What a bully. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why are you going to beat up on it? Pick on someone your own size. Know, right? <laughs> Derek's now feeling it. You see the, you see like a, his energy level just go up a little bit? Yeah, he's, uh, he's in the rhythm. He's like, ah, aha. A buddy of mine told me, well, if you ever want to know how a guy's shooting, look at his backhand. If he's real, real loose, yeah. he's in stroke. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But if he's yeah, tight... That's true, because if it's tight, he's trying to find it. Mm. 
Look at that. I think being down three to one, I would ride the nine. Oh, he's looking at it. It's a free-ish, free-ish shot. You know, though, you see, you see how he's looking, the way he wants to hit it? He wants to hit like the rail first. Yeah, he wants to come off the okay. rail and kick into it. He could scratch in the side. You see what happens? The cue ball go up to the side. Yes. So there, there's a lot of... There's a lot of danger in this shot, too, where a safety could actually win you the game. Looks like he might have got lucky. So he played the safety instead. Yeah. Oh my god, I thought that was going in the I did too. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's nice to see April, your wife, and uh, the two kids as well. Yeah, it was, it was cool that they came down to support yesterday, watch yeah. me play. Um, April's daughter's never seen One Pocket before, so she was really uh, oh, cool. trying to grasp the concept like, of it. Okay. And yeah, because she's, like, she's the one that likes to play pool better. Well, right. Which one's the more of a pool player? Beverly. Beverly is more yeah. of a pool player. Okay. It's funny, too, because I gave her a Q-Tech that I used to play with, and I just gave it to her. She wanted a Q-Stick. Okay. She tells everybody, she's all, yeah, this is the Q-Tick my, my stepdad shot pool oh, with. right on, right on. And, uh, and he's a sick player. <laughs> so oh, so, oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's cool. You know. So you mean she doesn't walk in the pool room and go, yeah, I'm sponsored by Q-Tech. No, no. no. <laughs> She's like, yeah, of course, when they play at that level, they don't even think about what sponsorship is. No, they don't. They, 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 think, know. If, they think if you could run three balls, uh, you're just like the ultimate pool god. Yeah, you know what? I think Ashton's a little rattled. Yeah. Something's going on with him. I played him in Temecula recently, and uh, he actually plays a lot better than this. Temecula. And I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I used to have a bar out there, the Stampede, and I think I rode the bull once <laughs> in Temecula. That's, that's, uh, <laughs> that's interesting news. <laughs> they got to get a mechanical bull in here, and we should live stream that. You know what? Maybe a shift in <laughs> a complete shift in industries the, is called for. The loser of the pool match has to ride the bowl. Uh, good question, Paka. The payouts <laughs> for this event. I'm assuming around uh, around 400 for first place, but uh, I will look into that shortly and let you know. In fact. I don't even believe that the payouts have been posted yet, so um, more on that as it develops. I'm surprised Vilmos and Attila didn't come down and play in this. Maybe they're back in Vegas. Uh, Vilmos and Attila... Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Where are those guys? Probably back in Vegas. How long are you guys here till? Well, you're here. You're here till you get the finals, right? I'm, I'm here till. Uh, okay. Oh, that's cool. Does that work? No, I just was. Uh, I, I was hoping to take a break. I was wondering if this match gets over like right now. Will you sweat with Mike? Or you, oh, you're gonna go leave? Well, I'm gonna leave here probably like 4:50. Oh, okay. Do we have time for another match? Yeah. 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 Can you sweat? Yeah. Sure. Either that or I'll throw Nathan in here. Unless they call me for a match. Which they probably will. 
So Jeff will have to run solo. Yeah, Bo, Bo running in is not playing today, actually. Oh, he is, uh, yeah, box two. Uh, Bo running in's in Minnesota. He uh, went to visit his family. Why you know? don't you? I'm from Minnesota. Oh, that was an interesting uh, segue there. I didn't understand what this <laughs> Hey, keep it down over there. We got a tournament going on. Keep it down. Eddie. So, <laughs> so let's let's talk about the TV scenario here at Hard Times Billiards. For a more, are you talking about the TV on top of the TV? So yeah, so like so, so like Hard Times Billiards has this big projector like box TV that I think back in 1989 or something was like the high it was end. the shit. It you was know, like, it was high. It was end. like a four thousand dollar. You know, I don't know, what was that 56 inches or something? Yeah. It's, it's like a 60 it's inch, yeah. right? And they've still got it here. Well, a, a month ago or so, the TV just went completely on the fritz, finally. Wow. Everybody's like, you know, <laughs> hoping it would go, it would die. So what does he do? He buys an HD flat screen TV and just mounts it onto the face of yeah. it. <laughs> Did he really? Yeah, yeah look. Dude, so if you out. take a look. No, just go, go look, you'll see. It's it's just mounted on the front of the TV. <laughs> the other one's mounted. Oh my god, it's hilarious. It's awesome. So like let's keep the TV here because it's such an an, an integral part of the furniture at hard times. I love hard times. Yeah, it's like <laughs> And just to let you guys know too. It off. And just to let you guys know, I don't know if you I don't know if you you know hard times offers this. But well, you could rent VHS movies yes, here as can. well. You can rent. You can rent like VHS. You can rent VHS matches. Yes. Of like, I don't know. Daniel, this match is over, dude. All right, this match is All right. over. Here I am talking. De De Derek won that one five one. Yeah, in case I you guys didn't catch it. All right. There's too much excitement going on. All right. We're done. Well, at least for now. Uh, no, we got another match coming right up. Okay, so everybody settle down. We got another match. Happening Calm down. Very shortly, right here, live on the live stream. Thanks for watching.